Thank you for coming. I appreciate your attendance, particularly to Fuller, uh, uh, to make his effort to see me and colleagues at this time. I had the honour of being here now for the fourth time and having met Sifrula uh, about three years back in Berkeley uh, through Malcolm Potts and I took a little video and then we found out that we'd been to Bangladesh at the same time, early in 71, so there was a connection. And Sifrula made a very important point in the presentation that home births in Bangladesh is still the most appropriate form of normal delivery. And the traditional birth attendants who live in the village for decades, for centuries, have a role to assist in that. Okay? Currently, there's a lot of pressure to bypass the traditional birth attendants and, and have additional people doing it. But as Laura pointed out from New York, that to train these extra people would take decades. Okay? And at least for the time being, we need the traditional birth attendants. My argument is that we need them anyway, okay? Because we don't have anyone within the village, born of the village, respected of the village, who knows how to attend and care for women. And there's 80,000 in Bangladesh, and they're responsible for most of the births in the village. We have a growing number of cesarean sections. We have uh, other things that occur. So it was with this understanding I came to Bangladesh a couple of years ago. Okay. So the first time I came, we were really looking to promote the traditional birth attendant. And we took videos of Amy and Shamoya and, and pictures and so forth. Uh, and, but this has moved in a slightly different direction. And Dr. Carter has mentioned the importance of the training. The training both of the paramedics and the traditional birth attendants. And so for the last two visits this year, okay, I've been working, I appreciate the hard work done by the training section. They have a lot of problems and difficulties. Okay? It's not easy working there. Uh, they have other work to do, etc. So I tried a little bit to improve their work system in terms of materials, things like that, and also in terms of the work they were doing. And so this time we've reviewed the syllabus, the most recent syllabus for the uh, paramedics, the one prepared six months, the, the one that was done six months back and some previous ones. We're reviewing the syllabus for a number of reasons. One, to identify what's being taught, okay? And that's the main reason. But the other reasons are to get the training for the uh, paramedics recognized, recognized uh, by the, uh, the training uh, circles. Uh, for this reason, there has to be a process of communication between GK and the government, this is outside my realm, to, to, to determine what, who the paramedic, what their functions are, and what sort of training is needed for the country. Yeah? Not just GK, but for GK and the country. And unfortunately, I haven't come across, maybe you have, a syllabus for training paramedics by the Ministry of Health. I haven't come across that yet. The only thing I've come across is the Department of Education and Medical Technology, which is quite different. So we're going through a process of recognition of the training for the paramedics, upgrading them, and determining where to go. Currently, the paramedics follow this book. This is a GK book uh, on training that was uh, formed by uh, GK, uh, CMHC and Plan International about 10 years ago. This is the book that they're working from. Okay? 
Okay, it's quite extensive. It, it's, uh, it's lightly illustrated. And uh, we aim to, for each parametric to have a copy of this book. Now, the other book they're referring to is the... These are other books. Um, here, just to let you know, I'm not going to go into detail, but I, I want to give you a sense of what they're using. Thank you, sir. Uh, where there's no dot, in fact. The reason they're using this book is it's available and it doesn't cost very much. And it's a quite a good book, but it's a little bit out of date. So they're the things they're using, plus the lectures. Uh, so uh, the other things that are available are you know, small manuals like this and so forth, which I haven't had time to go through. Uh, this is an earlier book by the at a meeting. It's government, but only one government person attended. This was the late uh, 1900s. And this is a book on family planning, which they used. And this is the other government book. But this is for school birth attendance. Now, we know that there's been a push for school birth attendance. This is the government book for school birth attendance. And they have a list of things. But that's not the same as our training of the traditional birth attendance. Our training is different. Uh, our training focuses on their immediate work in terms of upgrading their skills and recognition of needs to refer and so forth, okay? And getting that connection uh, with the health centres and so forth. So that's where we are at present. Um, I'll show you a few slides, but I want to mention one other thing. I have a vision. I have a vision that the training of paramedics here and the support of traditional birth attendants can cover the whole country at some time. Okay? I'm not saying tens of thousands, but at least it's going to cover more. And I think GK can act as an example. And if it works in one part of the country with a reasonable amount of support, it can work elsewhere. And I still think that Bangladesh benefits a lot from its people. And we have to recognize the wealth within these people. I personally think the traditional birth attendant is underutilized. I think she would be ideal as a communicant to the community. For breastfeeding, for safe delivery, for care of the child, for the use of ORS, etc. I think there's a, there's a way in which this could not Overnight, it's going to take time. We talked with some paramedics yesterday, uh, with TBAs yesterday at uh, Barovia. I, uh, we asked them, what do they need? Can you guess the first thing they wanted? An umbrella. They don't have an umbrella. And they need it for the rainy season, obviously. The second thing they wanted, was a torch because they needed for working at night. I mean, these are very basic requirements. The third thing they wanted was a clean apron to use during delivery because their, their cloth is not good. Anyway, it's just a matter of interest of, of what they're actually needing. They didn't ask for a smartphone. They didn't ask for transportation. So they asked for things very basic. The next thing they asked for was recognition. They don't have a certificate to put in their house to show people that they've been recognized by GK. I think this is probably the most important thing. And we started talking about a band that they could put to, to have their name and say they're a trained TBA. Okay? Not an SBA, a TBA. Okay? That's their role or maybe uh, maybe a pin or something okay but i think i think probably their greatest need was recognition because they've been taken for granted all this time and gk one of the few agencies that recognizes their 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 value and so i would hope uh, that we could make the most of these traditional versatility now, there's one thing I suggested about six months ago when I was here. We have these big food charts, okay? And someone talks 
uh, and explains the pictures. And there are a group of TBAs that may look and say, that's fine, okay? That's fine, but the flip charts are big, expensive, and they rely on just one trainer. I had the idea to turn these flip charts into flip books, so we could have small books for group presentation for uh, a, a, maybe eight, ten TBAs, something like that. And the second thing is to train the TBAs to be trainers and use these materials to their advantage. Okay. So that's what we're developing a little bit more. And I'll show you a little video that we did yesterday, getting a TBA to come and explain one of the pictures. Okay. And I believe, colleagues, I think they did very well about a woman who was bleeding and had to go to the hospital, about this complication about the need for privacy, the need for food, and so forth. And with a bit of extra training, I think they could do well. Okay? So those are some of the conclusions. And I, I do, my recommendation for a plan is to identify the training, very clearly identify the training for the uh, paramedics. Okay? And have it institutionalized. Each six months we have a different syllabus. It drove me around the bloody bed. Where's the syllabus? Where's the syllabus? So forth. Okay? So we need something final to work on. We don't, can't change the syllabus every six months for one reason or another. We have to have something to work on that's acceptable to all and it can be used to say this is what this is what the paramedic needs. Okay. So that's one thing, to have a syllabus that's recognized and uh, make it better known. Okay. And you've, you've already got lots of uh, uh, paramedics around who have graduated. I think a graduated paramedic would be a great trainer. We've got a wealth of people in the field. They may not be working for GK anymore, but they're still working in the field. You have, you can't rely on three or four trainers to train everyone. It's impossible. You need ways, digitized, online, okay, uh, basic materials. You've got a printing press. You can put things online and so forth. So what I'm suggesting is just a review of what you're doing. I can't, I don't understand Bangla, I'm pretty limited, okay? I can't do that. All I can do is initiate something and say, this is the way I think you ought to go. You don't have to do anything about it. You can say, thanks, Alfred, bye-bye. That's fine with me, okay? So that's my message. I'll just show you a few slides, uh, unless you want to ask questions now. Would you want me to show a few slides now? Yes, or yes. Okay. Uh, how do you think you tell us uh, about how we can improve the selling of TV? Okay. We will very thank you very much. You have made a very pertinent uh, suggestion for umbrella talk and recognition. Right. It's a very important thing you have done. So now you talk about the telling what are the training TBA should get? I think it should be visual. It should be in the nature of flip books that can be printed. Not every TBA needs a flip book, okay? Maybe one in 10 who are literate. I think about mm -hmm. one in 10 are literate. Could have a flip book and meet with the TBAs regularly and act as a communicant. And even use the flip point for the community. They can arrange a meeting or something, talk about things if they want to. So I think the visual method of training is very important. The visual and audible method and practice uh, uh, and so forth. I think giving long lists of words and lots of books and so forth isn't going to be very useful. Okay? Even for the paramedic, okay? I, I still believe that the visual method of training with audio I think you could, you know, in, at least you have one smartphone in a village, okay, or maybe a TV, 
online can be done as well. Because anything you can produce hard copy, you can produce visual. Any book you make can be an e-book. Okay? And it's a lot cheaper and easier to spread around. So you can think broadly about the visualization and in, in this sense, I'll just give you an example here, if I may. So, like, it can be very useful thing. I think it should be new to you and to the... Yeah, I... Uh, uh, Mr. Riku did a video uh, for uh, geriatrics, but it did show paramedics in the field. It was very nicely done, beautifully photographed with movement and music, okay? And I think something like that's a great idea, okay? Uh, if there could be some communication with Mr. Riku uh, in terms of exactly what's wanted of him. Uh, with particular reference, I think, to training, yeah. that would be good. And the training would be based on reinforcement of the regular work the TBA does, okay? which is really just a revision, plus the extra things they need to do in terms of identifying risk. Okay. and preventing mortality. Recently, Grandset has published an article on new natural death and unpunished death. And they almost thought it was a very difficult thing. They, everything they have given a really wrong figure. They are more on the congenital deformity than other. You see, we have got a, at least we have 20 years and in all the atlas are available to the RPS. Definitely 10 years that are that will be easily be cleaned. And we can, we can show that they are not right. Our data is something else. You see, even we have got the data after the after the caesarean death or after the maternal death. Yeah. How soon husband get married? And we know what is the fate of the child. I think in the natural whole global world, nobody can do that data except us. But our people are lazy, incompetent, they are not prepared to produce paper. And they are locally non international. So, as a result, really, when you see, this is a very, very unfortunate situation. It's unfortunate. The, uh, the, Recognition that we deserve, we are deprived of. And you came here, you could help us, and with you, I think we can establish all these sorts of things. So you are a great, a great connection with our reality, so the whole world. You see, so they are not utilizing you. I have a negative feeling that our people are not utilizing you enough. That's a question. Mon, how long did you chat? How long did you say? How long ago you were here? About 10 days ago. But they had reviews for the first three days and I was out of the living room. So, I've only been here for a week. You are a great person. You are a great person. Man with a good heart. You are not a young person. Well, part of it is my own fault. I tend to have a lot of ideas, and my brain goes a hundred miles a minute. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, the use I mentioned was we've left some materials like canvas and so forth. Uh, now, the three locations are the three centres, two centres uh, near here and one in Chimulia, okay? And that's been our field. That's where we've done some of the field work. Now the plan was to organise the schedules. We've set a date for that. I think in two months we should have a clear schedule. 
for, for the training for the paramedics, okay, that should be fairly permanent. It should be recognized that this is exactly what we want to train. There may be changes later, but at least we have something that's, that's there, okay? And then uh, cross-reference. What I mean by cross-reference is to find out what the government is interested in and see what they're doing or other agencies and so forth. I know there's a bit of cross-relationship. That needs some research, talking to people. Sorry. And develop visuals. Now, the last thing is, Mr. Rico could be very helpful. The TBA works probably one hour a day. She probably has about four or five pregnant ladies. She might have one that's going to be delivering soon, and maybe one or two post-delivery. So that's her time during the day. She's got other things to do. She's got family, house, etc. to look after. So, if Mr. Rico could be willing to track the TBAs the same way you've done the, uh, uh, the paramedics and just go through what they do and let her voice over. Let her be the voice. Sorry? You have to give beauty the essay when a trainer there with the beauty, the senior. Trainer, the senior trainer with the you have to give beauty the beauty the need that. Beauty the beauty the. Ah, Reja bhai, asse na Monsur bhai. Yes, sir. What are you asking? Thank you. I have to train you. I have to train you. I have to train you. But you know, na, amra thoraise I have to know ye meja bin in korte. Or ye amra niye sila mokhe ye MP MP S kora doctor meja bin. Meja bin ki baash. Oh, M B B S. Or ya kor M P H kora tumi na? M P H kora amra. Oh, amra sonography or clinical side or shikhe fil se shikla korte sa training er shonge ya kono inbor ya bise ya ki bise kore. Two thousand six. Yeah. Two thousand five. Two thousand six. 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 Two thousand five. ढाईस उनार कुछ ये ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग कुछ ये किचु गार्मेंट्स से ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग वो ये वो जस्ट सिंपल पर ना कि जो कमाल ना 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 वो क्या ना शॉप घर में प्रोडक्ट नहीं है ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन तो तलाश तो भी तो भी तो तभी ये आगे फिर जो काज करेंगे आपने नाशा लगे एंजियो तेजी लोग आपने तेजी तेजी नहीं हो � Community? Community? Yes. Oh, sorry. Community? Yes. 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 अमर बड़ो में कुछ आठ बच्चों आठ छः लेकर चार बच्चे। तो पास करना क्या बच्चा बन जाए? अब तो दूसरा बच्चा। जी। वो सब। तो बैंकिंग की बोले। जी। बैंकिंग की बोले। अपना शाफुलिया से पालू में जी ना जी ना एक ने क्यों ना यार अपना शाफुलिया से बात चलती है जी तो यार जाके सुना पड़ेगा मैं आज से एक तो अर्जुन बहुत ना क्या करते हैं मातृ कोरण ना तो अब जी ना तो देखिए ना आप बोल कोरण ना तो 
it is possible to play that video. I'm a video. It took the hand and the idea will pass. Sabah, Leah, trained a bit more to do this, but they could do it. The other point is that not all TBAs are the same. There are some who are much better trained than others, some living near a centre, some living in a distance. So that has to be taken into account. But, um, so that's the second slide she was explaining. And so these are examples of some of the visuals. We've got about 30. Why, why do you have to read the pain can you? Why not that? I agree. We should have examples in we reality. Like they are making, mixing, like a human picture. Yeah. That's where Mr. Reko can help and yeah. other people. We, we do have some pictures like this. And maybe we can substitute. You see, uh, in, the, in the village, uh, if they have got a, they have got a choki, it is bigger, it is wider. It is not as, as short as a bench. Can you cut it? Yes. Okay. And you know what is really, the eyes do not wear a white dress. That's true. The white dress is a dress for the widows. Yeah. Okay. Also though you know, there are many of them are widows, you still they will the colorful light okay. and which will we promote. We said you don't need to live all your life because you have lost your husband. Yeah. Well, it's up to you people to decide which are good and which are not. I, I've got more, I didn't select all of them. Uh, that's Stanley playing in some pictures okay. of medication and a bit of an What is What is EMKO? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Okay, so... Actually, it comes at a counter to be the airport. Then, 
I do have I do have something here to show you quickly if I may.
It would take 40 years for this to occur. How long it will take? It will take 20 years. The current one is further back. Yeah. It's a rock slide. Yeah. It's only a rock slide. So Alfred, yeah. you should say, here in this year, 2016. Yeah. This is you see, that we have got the 4 million bucks. Mm -hmm. Our bucks is a year in the 4 million. That's it. Here. 4 million yeah. bucks. Yeah. Right. But Mr. Rico has done a very nice job without a video camera. Now, any questions? Any questions? Or we're all late in the day and we're all a bit tired. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about having a workshop sometime in the next three months, identifying the contents of the training, mm -hmm. just reviewing, reviewing what's there, the contents, the practical, the tests, etc. And the source of visuals. And some trials. Okay. Some workshop. Would that be possible? Dr. Ulitha, would that be possible? Yes, but you will come the next one. Oh, if you give me the date, I'll come. Not in the rainy season. No. Uh, now. No, no, no. After three months, after three months, that is December, January, February, March is a nice weather. I may not be the right person. I may not be the right person to come. Think about someone who's experienced in training, who connects with governments. Okay, who can present a case and get this all this ready. 
Thank you very much.